So, here we are in our story again. Uh, this is the Maisa base, the second story, the Melech of the Kaiser, where the Rebbe is giving us tremendous answers and try to ha- how to handle the different problems that we have morally. So there's lots of different kinds of situations because of the world that we live in and the fact that we have to make a living. We have to live with other people. We have to live in a family with a wife and children and all the different kinds of cons- uh, conflicts that, that we see in ourselves. The main pull that Rebbe speaks about in other different places is really the sexual pull. It's really that when a man looks at a woman or vice versa and they see some detraction, there you the attraction between them. We're not talking about the, your wife or your husband. We're talking about outside. This is really the Yates of Harab working on you. Uh, what happens is, is that the Yates of Har is real, 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 uh, real, and it's inside of us. It produces different kinds of thoughts. Now, just like you understand that your thoughts are beginning in your head, and that's the, uh, that's the place where they live, uh, but they permeate, they can permeate from your head down through your entire body. body, body. Now, he wants to deal with this, not trying to attack what's going on in your body, why don't you try to attack what's going on inside of your head and say like this? Really? It's a ruach. It starts as a ruach. Well, it starts as like a yetzahar that you have inside. But the yetzahar produces a ruach, which is a certain kind of spirit. Like it's a, it, but it's also like a wind. This wind can blow throughout your whole place and really affect your entire body because it's coming from a higher place. It's something that really gets a hold of you, that you really like, and that you really want to go with it. And let's say it's just a hear whore, but that hear whore can take you over. So he says, look at this, what to do is it blow it out, go to someplace else. You have to try to escape from this, you have to recognize that it's there and escape from it. And this is not just true of hear whore and which has a sexual content, which we understand that the perversion of sexuality is where the real, real crux of the issue of the world that we live in and why it's so filthy. And if we go back to other shiurim that we've given on this, or it had to do with the with uh, Adam Arisha, with the first man, and the mistakes that he he made, but it was destined that it was going to be that way. It was always part of the part of the idea that we're going to wind up in, in a situation where we're living is, as Yaakov Hillel calls it, the Zuhama Sanachash. We're in the flow of the poison of the snake. That's where we live. You can actually avoid it. And that's what the red room, that's but you have to have a head on your shoulders. You have to have the whole kedusha inside of you because this this Yetzirah lives with us all the time, and we can do things about it. And that's what the that that's what the Rebbe wants to teach us here and brought out really nicely by Rav Shur. So here we are. She has escaped the merchant's son. It was no good. She got in his trap and she got out. Now we're here in another place. The Yom. So the day came. <coughs> there was a certain king. Gum came This is also talking about this powerful force that's within us. which is an old foolish king. And so he built palaces by the sea. Remember, we said that the sea is the Yamachachma, it's the place of Torah. Because the, the sea is a really a reference to spirituality. So let's not forget, you go to Yeshiva, there's bad stuff over there too. It doesn't mean that, you, that, that it's a bad place. It's just that that's where we live. Because there's all different kinds of things that grab a hold of you. Now, previously when I talked about sexual things, but there's also jealousies. Now, I think it really comes to all, the Rebbe wants to say that all comes from the same source. But by the same token, uh, it manifests itself in anger, different kinds of strictness, different kinds of jealousies and conflicts that one person a person has with another person. This happens every place, business and in yeshiva and at home. So these are all the beginning. We wants to get us back to the beginning of a neshama, to where these thoughts are starting, and realize we can blow them out, just like a wind. You can just go to a different, you know, just go to a different tune. It's not so easy, but that's his point. So he said, "Al Yachshov Adam." So that person should say, "Became into Yegicha Kabbal Baruchni." So that you come to a spiritual thing, and you're like, "Say, we're learning here." Shuhu moved to Shulo Yitpozos of a Yetzahar that he could probably he's sure that the Yetzahar is not going to give him there. 
Ki gam baruchni is yesh yetsahara gadol ma'od because also in spirituality he's there too because he's with us all the time. Ukumuvu b'dibu rabbeinu zal he says in lekuti ma'aran she gam misha magia gavar el ruchni is person who lives a spiritual life. He says daike mishom who yahu lipo from that place he's able to fall. So that we have this story about the four that went into the paradise. Alicia Benavuya, who was the Rebbe of Rebbe Meir, he went into the paradise. So he had a certain method that he and the other three that were with him, only Rebbe Akiva came out to Shalom. That Rebbe Akiva, they came to this place and, and, and Acher fell. Bafal P came Kafar Baikar and in the end he denied everything and he started living in brothels and living a dissolute life. Kimerov or Masanber Oso Laganbri, because if it's too much light, the P person sees things that he's not ready for, he can become completely blinded. Kamosha Kaso Patikheno Aina Meros that his eyes become dim from seeing. Because he came too close to the light of the Lakus. So then the light, the, the light dims his eyes and it hurts him. Like a person who looks at the, uh, like a sun. You look right at the sun. So then it hurts his eyes. So therefore, the Yetzirah comes and he builds palaces, different kinds of traps, right there in the spiritual world. Because that's where it looks like the best possible place. Because the Yetzirah lives only of, uh, 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 by way of sucking off of the Ruchnius, of the Gedusha that's, that we have. So he doesn't have a life without us. So therefore, he wants to be to the greatest kedusha is the biggest is the biggest the biggest nourishment for him. Matmas avir chayam because the ruchni is the air of the sea, really good for this, which means what the ruchni is this coming from the olam ruchni of the sefinas cholchus sham, and there's all different kinds of boats that go by. Yehu toifes gam as a gedolim sheyoshvim al the ruchni, so he also get a hold of the greatest people like Yeshua calling Gado who fell. Uh, and he says that like Acher, uh, oh, mis, mis, uh, mis angim, mis ziva shrina, that those are people who are celebrating and rejoicing with the radiance of the Shrina, so even no matter who you are, you have to be careful about your ego, you have to be careful about being hurt, about different kinds of uh, pride that you may have. But he, that is, Hoysa, that is the Bas Kaser, who is the daughter of the king, she was traveling on, in this world of Ruchnius. Uh, some of the Platim Shalomelech and she came near to the, to the palace of this king. She's actually a portion of godliness itself. What does the Yetzirah want to do? He wants to trap this Neshama and suck everything out of it. Build himself up into something really great. Remember, Paro is the word orif, the back of the neck. He sucks off the back of the neck of Zeranpen. So she's out there in the world of spirituality. And she thinks that she's going to be able to save herself from him. But she doesn't know. That also in that place, the place of this Ruchni is that she lives. It's an unbelievably beautiful spiritual life that she has. There's also this foolish king, this old foolish king, Shukha Yetzirah, which is the Yetzirah that's waiting for her. A road to the Hachshil as Kulan, who wants to trip everything up. So he looked out and he saw, wait a minute, there's a, there's a boat out there and there's nobody on the boat. No man. He, he lo nizhar, nizhara, because she wasn't careful. She thought she was safe, because she thought this neshama, which is inside of our bodies, right, our neshamas, we get to a place where we're really learning good and we're really happy about what we're doing, that doesn't mean that the Yetzirah wants someplace else. Go there. But al kain chashav she'en sham manhig, so therefore he figures, hey, nobody's running that boat. 
Ki Adam Sarak wa Amo Tome the Alan Mishma Bra Yatsahara, you have to realize this Yatsahara doesn't lead you. You have to be ready for it. Shaba Ala Adam Bakal Mini Tah Bulus Rao's Mitfosa so because it all has all kinds of weapons and armaments to grab this person. The Savishu Toya Atzma, so she thinks so he's thinking that that uh, it's a mistake. He doesn't really see it, but Sivala Nashri Stakwu. But so he says, How could you have a boat sailing along? There's nobody there. So he asked his people, he has lots of friends. Take a look too, the Royal Gam came, because they also saw this cane. They saw Gam came cane. They also saw this was going on. The Hinnis Karvachalaplatim, Achar Kachis Yashva, and so she came really close to the palace. So she started thinking, she started thinking, so she says, what are, what are these Palatim doing here? So this is an idea too, that you may see the Yetzirah, and you may think that you can engage the Yetzirah. So here's what he wants to tell them. So then she thought about it, wait a minute, I don't really want to engage the Yetzirah. Shalach HaMelech HaHerzirah revealed the base of the Melech Zalkein Vuxil this foolish old king was smart, and he got her. He he skilled the broch. She started to run away. She realized that you know this is not. I don't want to start arguing with this yetsahara that's inside of me. but he's strong. Like I said, it gets into your ruchnius. It gets into your thinking. It spreads out through your whole body. and he ran after her, and he gets her. and he brings it her into. His house, his palace, the palace of the Yitzhar. For Melech Anav Lo Bchoyu Lo Ishu. Now he wasn't married, right? Yitzhar. Now what's this all about? Because he says that Zeh Keneged Zeh. The, the Torah says Zeh. The Rab says this. It says all over Zeh Keneged Zeh Barozo. That opposites were created. So if we have a male and female relationship, the Yitzhar also has that too. He has an immure image, let's say, so to speak, a false image of everything that we are, he has. He has no wife. He couldn't choose somebody. He didn't have anything that was good enough for him. Because he wanted a certain woman, she didn't want him. Also, the opposite is true. Now, that's a little Musa that Rav Sheikh says in different places. So this is something a person really should take to heart. So he's not able to find a man, a young man, he's not able to find a mate. He can't find a mate. So he says, this is the truth. This is what the Begum Kodesh says. It all comes because a person thinks too highly of himself. He's very proud of himself. He has me who wrote it because a person who wants, he wrote it. So he wrote it. What he wants a certain woman, she doesn't want him. But as me, who wrote Rosa, he 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 uh, he came Rosa. So that he, that he doesn't want, she does want. But everybody has this in relationships. It's not just a man and a woman. It could be chabrusa. This is that what who you want, they don't want, and who they want, you don't want. It just goes back and forth like this. Why? Because I'm too good for that. So it's far very hard for a person to find his mate. He who lo wrote the has game in me she wrote also because he's not able to agree with thirst with the she that wants him. He who tome wrote the davar shachadaim lo nivra because he wants some perfection that doesn't exist. Now, this is another little crick, let's say, in the Yetzirah how he works on us. That's your ego, the thing that makes us think we're really something special. So he says, uh, 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 so he says, the MS Amrach of Hendu Gedoshin, Nachos Darga Nasiv Edisa, go down a level and you'll find a wife. Perish Rashi Rashi explains on the Al Tikach Isha Peshuva Mimcha, don't take a woman who's greater than you are. She comes from a big family, that she's really, really smart. So maybe it's not going to be good for you. You always have to think of going down. You're going to find a woman down there. So that you can find his mate. So this is not talking about just men. Talk about women as well. When you start looking at yourself like you're really nothing. 
Afal Pikang, Oimri Vadal Binakos Dargo Nasiv Ida. So you're a person that really doesn't see himself, he's not an egotistic person. Even though you're the person that they're talking about, you have to go down a little bit more. Because you are holding yourself by some level. Shatihi Abanech Klum Shabaklum, you look like yourself, like you're nothing of nothing. Azai Bakalas Timsaba Zigzugho. If you can't find a mate, and you understand it's because you're holding yourself very hard. Because is coming near here. So he says to her, she should promise him. She says, she says to him, promise me, shalo yigaba, that you will not touch me. She is saenakadas until you really we have a perfect wedding. And you could meet me, you could marry me at a proper ceremony, and everything will be right. Then we see something like this, but be So he says, okay, it's all right, because he scattered. She sees now that she fell into this trap. The Yetzirah has her, she could fall into complete despair, and complete, uh, completely bad. So therefore, that same phrase, he says, you have to be prepared, you have to have weapons to be able to fight this battle with the Yetzirah. Now again, he said before that it's not like uh, we say that we're going to take him on and prove him that he's wrong. You can't do that because it's built into you. It's a part of you. It's the other side. It's the back of you. So she says to him, Look, let's not open up my boat. Below Yigabo, no shouldn't touch him. Raksha to Amod Kach Aliyam Ajnisuya. But let me say let's set everything here just the way that it is until we get married. Was Yiraha Kol as Ribura is Shir Bishabiya, so then you're gonna be able to see that I am a very wealthy person and I have brought a tremendous dowry with me. But Bal Yoma, so the people should say Shalok of Ishim and the Shuk that you took a woman from the from the uh, from the streets and from the marketplace. And he understands because the glow that's coming from her is so unbelievably precious. I don't know what's over here, but it's someplace else at the Goyim. But they said the Goyim want what we have more. Maybe he's going to say this. Let me see. Because every Jewish person that has fallen into the pit of the Tehuma Rabbah, the deep pit, all of Allah says, call mini tachbulus eif le broch me yetzahar. He has to do all different kinds of preparations. How he's going to get out of this? So that even though he's already in the hand, the here or is powerful. And maybe you got yourself into a physical situation that's really, really bad for you. A daim yecholu that says, Misham, you can still put up in the top of your mind and realize what the yetzahar is doing to you. And if you do something with cleverness, with with your mind and thoughtfulness, get your mind back back. Like Shlomo Melech says, he says it again. If you're going to fight the Yitzhahara, you have to have weapons. But those weapons are not arguments. All right, we'll see that thing that says about the... Uh, about the Yetzirah in the next year.